She believes if people and communities thrive, then cities thrive. And now she is helping transform a neighborhood that has suffered from years of neglect. WVTM 13's Project Community shares stories of black women breaking barriers. Tonight, Carla Wade shows us how Executive Director Mashonda Taylor is leading the Woodlawn Foundation through the challenges of COVID-19 and beyond. Hi, friends. Welcome to Woodlawn. Mashonda Taylor became executive director of the Woodlawn Foundation just as COVID-19 settled in as an unwelcome guest here in Central Alabama. After eight years in various roles, Taylor found herself at the head of the organization as the pandemic created new challenges for Woodlawn. But Taylor says it also provided opportunity. But it also slowed us down. It allowed us to plan. It allowed us to be very strategic. Some really awesome projects will come out of fruition because of COVID. We will eliminate barriers. We will actually solve the, the, the problems that have been faced within our communities. Named one of the Birmingham Business Journal's people to watch in 2021, it's not lost on Taylor that 2020 was a tremendous year for black women in leadership roles. The past year has been, um, I've been, I've been, I've been seeing this, uh, this influence of the black woman within our community. Um, and, and there've been times in which we've not had a seat at the table or a voice to say our lived experiences. And because one thing I can tell you, when you put a woman at the table, you put compassion at the table, you put humility at the table, you put understanding and the ability to listen at the table. Taylor's team has spearheaded projects ranging from improved housing, neighborhood revitalization, and education. This is the James Rushton Early Learning and Family Success Center, an example of the type of community partnerships and education Taylor believes is crucial to improving the quality of life for Woodlawn residents. And in December, popular Atlanta-based restaurant Slutty Vegan announced it was coming to the Woodlawn District. It would give the area a huge boost in business, but Taylor's mission is so much more than just buildings and business. Yes, we've done some great things as far as making buildings happen. How are we developing and growing the people within our community? How are we growing ourselves so our community will be better? Questions she's asking. We are going to show not only this city and be a proof point that when you put um, resources and partners, because we have 40 different partners uh, working towards the same goal that real change can happen. And answering, Carla Wade, WVTM 13.